Anna the Sweetheart and today I'm going to show you how to do a vintage fringe roll. It's one of my favourite looks because it's very easy to do, very versatile so you can do lots of different styles with it, like this, victory rolls, a Judy Garland updo, high ponytail with a headscarf and it's very good for a bad hair day. That's the bad hair day one. So what you need for the look is you need some hairspray. Our favourite is glued by Schwarzkopf, um, basically because it does what it says on the tin. Once that fringe is in, it's not going anywhere. Need some Kirby grips. Um, I suggest that you get some long ones and some short ones, um, which I will show you why later. Hair tongs. These ones are boot zone. Find them very useful. The hairbrush. Most important thing you need is a bit of sponge for the roll. So here's mine. And then I've made it out of a hair donut, um, which people use for buns or chignons. They're sort of a donut shaped hair thing. You get these from Boots, Super And they do them in different sizes as well. So if you just wanted a smaller roll, you could get a smaller one. If you want a bigger one, a bigger one. I'm a Geordie, so bigger is always better. So I've got the big one. And then you cut it to the shape of your forehead. So that's that one I've done. Chopped it. Right, so we're ready to start. I find that the more hair you have in the roll, the easier it is to do. So I usually take it back to my crown. So you'll have a bit, if you have a bit of fringe, sort of shorter hair, you'll have that with the longer hair near the crown as well. Brush it up. Enough. So I've gone back, crown at the back, and then you're just going to brush it forward. So, so you're ready. You're take your tongs, and you are going to make it into a curl. Because I've got a bit of my own fringe and longer hair. What I do is I go down with the tongs halfway and then wrap the rest of my hair with my fingers otherwise it all falls out of it. So you're going to be very careful with these because they're very hot. I've got a few more rooms. Clamp it down halfway to where your fringe ends and then as I said you're going to wrap the rest of the hair around. Really be careful with your fingers and then you are going to roll it up. So you can kind of see what it's going to look like. Hold it for a few seconds and then let the roll out. Give it a spritz. Watch the eyes. More wool wounds. Another little brush. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing um, but with the sponge. Take it to the same part, halfway down. Then wrap the rest of it round. Make it really tight. And then you just roll it up like the tongs. And you can get the flyaway hairs as you go up. Tuck them under. Roll it all the way up. It's going to be a bit like a horseshoe. Hold it with one hand and then grab your Kirby grips. The long Kirby grips are the best to get it to hold into place. So for the edge faces, we're trying to, trying to fasten it first, get it into position, and then we can move it around. So a couple of grips in one side, a couple of grips on the other side. It also doubles as a gym workout for the arms. So this is what we've got. Now, once it's in position, you can then play with it. Move the sponge around so you can get the roll how you want it and you can really flatten the hair. Take another grip, the smaller ones. And just do it on the top, just near the top of the sponge. It just holds it, makes the shape a bit nicer. Let's make it even. Give it one last spray. And there you have it. A vintage fringe roll. Love stupid, I know it. Love stupid, I know it.